Hello everybody and welcome to episode 48 of the Trophy Tour. Today will be a brief roundup of my first two months in charge of my third season in the Bundesliga and uh, what the uh, most important games coming up are. So uh, this is uh, the Bundesliga for you now. Uh, three wins, three draws and a single defeat. So that's a pretty satisfactory start. It's exactly the same as what I managed last season when I won uh, four games and lost three, I think, something stupid like that. So it's good that we're remaining unbeaten. Uh, that is probably more important to me than uh, winning lots of games and losing a lot of games as well. Our away record there, uh, not too bad. And our home record is still pretty similar. Um, the media prediction is fifth, so we have a little bit more work to do to finish where we were last season. But uh, so far, so good. Just the two teams unbeaten, Dortmund and Schalke. So uh, we really need to... Uh, pull our socks up and continue our uh, reason, reasonable run. Uh, you can see we've had a lot of green dots and uh, just as this episode was going to be recorded I've suffered a, uh, a dismal red dot which I'll talk about in a moment but uh, you can see a flawless preseason. they very rarely occur for me. Uh, lots of goals scored and uh, we won our cup tie 3-0 as well so that's uh, brilliant and uh, not a complaint there. Um, First Bundesliga game of the season, the 2-0 away win against Hertha Berlin. Uh, goals from Kai Wisniewski and Zachary Bakali there. And it got even better against Nuremberg as we uh, got a 3-0 whitewash against them. Kai Wisniewski on a brace and Thomas Petrus getting a, a, a goal off the bench. Uh, disaster struck against Hamburg as we squandered a, a two-goal lead. I believe that's what happened again. I oh, know it was 1-0, uh, 1-1, one 2-1 one, 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 and then 2-2. Two, two. So uh, frustrations at boiling point there. And then again, Augsburg got a draw out of us. Um, and it needed a very big comeback to even get to that stage, even though they had a man sent off in the, uh, in the first half. So we didn't really cover ourselves in glory there. And another draw against the poor side compared to us. Karls Ruche, I think they're promoted. Uh, for the first time this season but our goalkeeper scored an early on goal and then Adair equalised uh, as he got his first start of the season so that was a relief but really should have won that game Kazruha, uh they don't uh, look like uh, Bundesliga regulars to me and uh, I really should have beaten them but a good result here against Werder Bremen 2-1 win and we followed that up with a crucial 4-0 win in the uh, second round of the cup and then our loss of uh, the first of the season we completely bottle this like an absolute bottle job we are 1-0 up and cruising but we really should have been 5-0 up really the first half was all all uh, Wolfsburg then in the last 20 minutes or so they got two very lucky goals and we uh, lost so many valuable points there so our next big games coming up are Dortmund, Gladbach, Kajerschlauten, Cottbus and uh, Stuttgart but the one to watch out for in the next episode will be Bayern Munich as I'll be live coming this game and it's all about uh, breaking our cup hoodoo as we have a very poor record uh, if you haven't seen it I'll uh, show it to you briefly now a uh, few club in history competitions uh, so yeah we'll, we'll look more detailed first and then uh, we'll look overall so the German cup this is how Wolfsburg have done in the game since uh, the save started the best they've done is a quarter-final defeat to Schalke. And the last four seasons have been third-round eliminations, two of which were under my jurisdiction and were penalty eliminations. So that makes it even worse. And obviously, they've never won the Cup before. A bit like uh, uh, Hibernian in, uh, in Scotland. So the best we've done is a runners-up position in 1995. So motivation to stay in the country is to break that Cup hoodoo and... Uh, you know, have some sort of uh, take-home prize uh, from the Bundesliga like I had with the other leagues. So this game is the one I'm going to live com next. And uh, then we'll move on to the winter break and so on and so forth. Uh, things I'd like to talk about. Our finances are okay, but we continue to lose money as uh, we know we're up a league to play. Uh, in terms of our squad, yeah, here it is actually. Uh, we've in We had a uh, not too many injuries. Uh, Juan Martinez is coming back. Um, and then Grant Shawcross was gone for preseason, but he's back now. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think we've been uh, pretty good with injuries. Uh, nothing serious. Um, 
But uh, let's just take a look at our uh, goal scoring records and so on and so forth. Selection info. Uh, Kai Wazanuski, you would have seen, he's a top scorer. He wanted first team football badly and now he's got it. So I don't think he's any complaints to make anymore. Uh, but we are kind of alienating some other players such as Andreas Kraus and uh, probably the goalkeeper uh, Remy Leclerc. He got a cap for France but I'm not picking him very often which is bad. But anyway, let's uh, carry on. Jonathan Smead, Petrus, Ta uh, have scored twice. Roberto, uh, Grossmich and Kraus, Eder, Villa, Diaz and Bacali have all scored once. Eder, um, I certainly would have picked him more often, but obviously uh, he he hasn't been as good as Kai Wazanewski. Um, pre-season he had a good run of games, but uh, Kai Wazanewski deserved the start since Ed Erd was a little bit fatigued compared to everyone else, and he really hit the ground running. And in terms of average rating, um, Andreas Kraus 7.48, Henrique 7.4, Kai Wazanewski 7.26, Jonathan Ta is making a first team uh, regular out of himself. Um, Absolutely delighted with his impact. He scored twice, actually. You might have mentioned that already. Uh, Yannick Vestergaard, though, he's a little alienated. And he's got 6.93. And other players in the 7.0 and higher. Yale Diaz is there. Avia is there. And uh, Jonathan Schmid and Antonio. Sergio Antonio is there. He was attracting big bids in the transfer window. And thankfully, we were able to turn them all down without him uh, losing his temper. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. My tactic is still the 4 3 one and uh, we, we've reduced our squad size considerably. Uh, there's a look at our transfer history. Um, just to be absolutely certain on that, um, you can see Alan Ruiz is gone and Lucas Rupp and all them you would remember. Uh, do I have to mention anything else? Um, I don't think I do. There's not really much going on. Uh, we don't have any incoming players or anything. So it's all about that German Cup tie, the DFB Pokal against Bayern Munich win that and anything could happen so I'm going to put all my priority into that game and sacrifice the league tie um, because I, I just think we have to make a cup run for once this season there's no point uh, dwelling on what might have been and just have another boring cup uh, cupless league run so yeah that pretty much uh, leaves this episode for now I hope you enjoyed and hopefully we don't lose too badly to Dortmund um, who are still top of the league and still uh, marching towards another title. So uh, uh, stay tuned for the next episode, which will be the live comments, I said. And uh, any comments or questions for my uh, Q&A session for my birthday tomorrow, uh, leave them down in the comments section. That will be much appreciated. Uh, apart from that, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye now.